Hey guys, in this lecture we are going to be talking about indexation. Yes, I know we've mentioned it before, but I want to touch on it here specifically. And I also want to show you a nice little cool trick. And just to let you know, when I learned this trick, well, I call it a trick, it's not really a trick. But when I learned this, it was like a wow moment for me, and I felt really happy and proud. I felt that, hey, I knew something that so many other people didn't know and wanted to know. And it was like, you know, you becoming this SEO guy or this guy who knew how to get websites to the top of Google, which everybody wanted to do and everybody still wants to do. So let's get started. When we talk about indexation, what do we mean? If you remember from the very first lecture, it means whether your website is in Google or not. And it is the most important thing because if your website is not indexed, you don't have an SEO. You don't have nothing to program or you don't have nothing to plan out. You don't have nothing to work on. You can't have any campaigns because your website is not in, not in Google and that's the most fundamental thing. So how do we find out whether a website is in Google or not? Now, there are a few ways, but this is a way that has been used for ages and before uh, modern features came out. So what you do is go over to the search bar. Well, this is the actual search bar in a browser, so you can use this, but I prefer using this because I find it a lot quicker and it's actually a URL bar, but you can also search from it. So what you do is type in a command operator. Okay, this is a Google operator. Now we will be talking about operators in the future, in the lectures that are coming up. So all you do is type in the word site followed by a semicolon. Okay, site followed by a semicolon. This is a search operator. Now make sure you don't have any spaces and make sure you don't type in dub 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 w w dot uh, the prefix of websites. You don't need to do that. So type in site semicolon followed by the site that you want to find out whether it is indexed or not. So I'm going to type in sony.co.uk. Yes, I'm a Sony fanboy. Now what Google does, it pulls back results from that web page whether that site is indexed or not. And as you can see here, it's pulled back several results. So let's look at this number here. This number is always showed at the top whenever you do a search or you do use this site command. So according to this, Sony has just under, just under by one, 700,000 web pages in Google's index. And that also includes subdomains here. So yeah, you know, by doing this command, we know that Sony is included in uh, Google's index. So we don't have to worry, we don't have to think, oh no, we're not indexed. Now, what if you want to find out about whether a specific page is, uh, is uh, indexed in Google? So we can do that as well. Just click here on this result. I'll grab this uh, suffix of the URL. Let's copy that. Now go back. I've got the search bar and I just want to paste that in. Okay. Just press enter. And as you can see, it pulls back that single result. So that's a way just to test or see whether a individual page is indexed by Google. And as you can see in our example, yes, it is. Now I want you to look at this result at the top. When you type in this site command, Google always brings you back this top result here. And it's saying to try Google Search Console. Now Google Search Console, if you don't know, is a tool provided by Google to all webmasters. If you own a website, you can use it. It's a great tool and it is an SEO's tool. Okay, It's a must know and we will be going over this in a future lecture. So what it's telling you here is if you don't, if you own, sorry, if you own song.co.uk, start claiming your Google Search Console account. And it is the best way to see and test whether you are indexed in Google or not. Okay. So let's just uh, clear this and go back to the main result. Okay. So yeah, now you learned how to find out whether a website is indexed by Google or not, just by using 
the search bar. Okay, guys, 